Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had a complete brain fart. Uh, it was Fleur Shy's episode, of course. Uh, apologies. I don't know why I couldn't remember what the name of the fucking episode was. Um, probably because it sucked. I'm sorry. I like Fleur Shy, okay? I like her. It's, this is nothing to do with her. This is not an assault on her. This episode was just complete and utter trash. It was trash. It sucked. Sucked. Like, if Rarity Investigate did not exist, this might be the worst episode in the history of the show. Oh. I just... Why? Why? He. This felt just so rushed, forced, and stupid. Flourish, hey son, he having in this dream. Uh, she's never told us about ever in seven fucking seasons. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? How is that a reality? How is that a possibility? How did this episode get written and then made and then produced and then released? Then we watched it and for some reason <clears throat> I'm sorry, even Flourish Eye fans cannot say this episode is good Otherwise, they are blinded by their love for her. I, like I said, I like Fluttershy. She's a great character. Her. If I were to compare myself to any of them, I would be like Fluttershy because I'm a shy a person who's, you know, not really good at making friends, not really an outgoing person. That's me. I see. I connect with Flourish on that level. Or being shy, not being able to speak up in hmm, conversations. And, and that's why I sometimes go quiet in my videos. That's why hey, sometimes I struggle with things to say. People wonder about that. That's me. He's thinking, God, what the hell do I talk about next? What do I he say? He, how do I get these people to who like me? He or at least tolerate me for the period of the video. Oh, I can uh, I can almost relate to Flourish. Hey, hey, she's struggling in her life. Hey, she's slowly getting better. Her, and she was very good in this episode. This episode is not bad because of Flourish. This episode is bad because of the writers and the... And Hasbro and DHX and whoever else, whoever the fucking else, published this garbage. This is like a bad fanfic come to fucking life. It's trash. It's trash. It is utter trash. It's utter trash. I support that Flourish Eye has a dream. Her ambition has always been, you know, she's she was content looking after her animals for six fucking seasons, and then out of the fucking blue in season seven, oh, she wants to open an animal sanctuary. What? 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 You've never mentioned this before. What? When did this become an ish? When did? When did you decide you wanted to do this? Oh. Oh, about the time and this episode was written. That's a fucking strange coincidence. It's a fucking piece of trash. I don't... I will never watch this episode again. Never. And it's not because of Flourish Eye. I don't want Flourish Eye, you fans. Hating on me just because I don't like this episode. It has nothing 
to do with Fluttershy he, he, herself. It's just, this is fucking garbage. It, it comes out of fucking nowhere. Out of nowhere. I mean, you, if you're going to do this episode, build it up. Build it up. For fuck's sake. Have an episode where where Flusha in one of her friends like helps out a, a sick animal, or she, or maybe her animals become sick and, and the animals become sick and she needs help help from like her friends and the town vet. You could have done that, and she like, you know, this would be so much easier if there was like an animal sanctuary where they could all. Be in peace and harmony and always be healthy and stuff like that. And then she decides she wants to work towards getting that. Not just randomly decide she wants to do that out of the fucking blue. Look look at Rarity. R look at Rarity. Okay? I'm going to use Rarity as an example because she's the perfect example. Rarity worked. Worked. For her boutique in Canterlot. That boutique got her another boutique. And depending on how long this series goes on. I guarantee you. The writers will probably get her to add another boutique. She'll probably end up with boutiques all over the place. And become like a massive business. Yes. I can see that for Rarity. That's... Build up. That's what should happen with Flourisha. She shouldn't have just randomly decided this is what I want to do now because that's not how it fucking works. Okay? You're you're telling me this episode, this show is directed at kids? You're telling kids, oh, you can just randomly decide you want to do this and in in the span of one fucking episode, you can get it done. What? Are you, are you for fucking real? It takes hard work. Look, I get kids won't understand that. You know, they're small. They're, their minds don't understand the way it works. But you have older viewers who are like, who, if they have a brain, if people are not blinded by it, their love for Flourisha, I like Flourisha, but this makes no sense. It's complete bullshit. You can't just say, hey, I can't say, oh, I'm going to open a major business tomorrow. I can't do that. I can't do that. It takes time. It would take effort. It would take months, maybe years of planning. You can't just randomly decide to do it. You can't. It makes no sense. It would not work. And you... Who, Force this down our throat. It, it boggles my mind. How did they decide that they would do this episode? What was this? What was the episode's lesson? Kids, it's when you grow up and you decide what you wanted to do. Well, you can go out and fucking accomplish that in one fucking day. Good luck with that. That's, you'll fail miserably. He. You just, if you're trying to send messages to kids, you just sent a lot of kids down the wrong fucking path. You fucking idiots. How did you do that? You... I pray that the parents of kids who watch this show... As soon as they saw this episode, immediately said, No, nope, you're not watching the rest of this episode. Because parents, if they are watching this with their kids, they're like, What the hell is this? What, what are they teaching our kids? You can't do that. Like, the only way you can set up a successful business in a short amount of time is, is if you are really rich. Which, I don't think Flourish High is. Is. I mean, you know, it's never explicitly stated 
how rich or how common the the show dictates the main six as. I mean, Rarity seems to have all the wealth she could want because gems are money, apparently. We've seen her use gems as money and she finds gems all the fucking time, so she's never going to run out of money. I mean, is she sharing that with her friends? I can't imagine. Maybe? But this just... You're sending kids down the wrong path with the wrong lesson. DHX, Hasbro, whoever else worked on this episode of this show in this season. You need to look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, of, We fucked up. Because you did. This gets a zero. It would get a negative. If not for I would fear that people would be like, oh, you're hanging on Fluttershy, you're hanging on Fluttershy. I'm not hanging on Fluttershy. She was just an innocent pawn in this, really. She just was. It was. It just happened to be her. Like, if this episode was about rarity owning a new boutique, no one would say, oh, she can't do that. We'd be all like, okay, that's another new boutique. Boutique that's showing that her business is growing well. This progresses her story very well. This shows how much Rarity is growing as a business. This mayor. I can't say businesswoman because she's not a woman. She's a mayor. Same thing. Whatever. But, you know, it's showing how her character is growing. It makes no sense for Fluttershy. It doesn't. If you don't understand that, you are blinded. By how much you like Fluttershy. People need to see. That this episode is utter trash. It makes no sense. You can't just decide. Are you, I'm going to open a fucking massive business. In, the, in one day. In one day. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. And you're like. Oh, but she had help, and uh, still, that's not how it works. You know, oh, I don't know how business worked, but I know you can't purchase a place in one day. You have to wait a few days, maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months. One fucking episode no build up just boom there she is new business whatever kids good luck with that good luck imitating good luck following this episode fucking lesson you fucking ignorant fools DHX and Hasbro are probably laughing at the kids who are probably thinking, oh wow, I can open my own business in like no time at all. Oh, well, thanks, DHX. Thanks, Hasbro. Thanks, Fluttershy. And again, I'm not hanging on Fluttershy. She is, again, just an innocent pawn in this episode. But oh my god, did they fuck up big time. Yes. I have no words for what. For it. I have no words. It gets a zero. I'm never watching this episode again. It's sending the wrong message. If I had kids, I wouldn't want them watching that episode because it would send the wrong message. It, it would be telling them they could do something that is practically impossible. Unless you're a master fucking builder or you're a fucking multi-billionaire. Even if you're a multi-billionaire, I can't imagine you can get around and weighing periods and stuff like that. I don't know how that works. But I, it just makes zero sense. And the fact that there was no build-up whatsoever. Just one random episode. This will probably never come up again. Ever. Or very unlikely it will. And 
We're, we're supposed to say, okay, yeah. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding me? No. Get to zero. That's episode five. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to do six. Six. Bullshit.